so welcome back. We're back out on the rocks again tonight, half hunting the cod, see if we can find one. Um, it's a really lovely still evening tonight, hardly any wind, um, which also means there's not much movement on the water. So we'll see how the conditions go. Um, but yeah, we're uh, fishing our normal baits tonight. We're on a bit of mackerel, a bit of squid, and then a bit of worm, uh, sorry, a bit of prawn over the top. Um, on the worm, I have been out on a big session this morning. I've dug, um, well, I was about, out for about two and a half hours, but only managed to get about 20 worm. Um, so we'll probably wait for a little bit more water to come in and then we'll put the worm baits on because uh, we're getting quite good reports of people catching on that at the moment. So we're on completely slack water now and it's a huge tide tonight. It's down to a 0.5 meter. So there's literally no water where I'm fishing now. So probably just going to save the good baits for about another hour and a half's time when it starts to flood a bit more. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this one out there and see if we can find anything. Um, there's not much colour in the water, but it's a lovely evening to be out. It's uh, not too cold tonight, it's only about 6 degrees, um, tiny little swell. So yeah, we'll just put some baits out there and see if we can pick up a fish or two. Um, there has been a few fish caught this weekend, uh, I've seen a few reports going up, so fingers crossed <laughs> we can get something. Anyway, we're going to cast this out and then uh, we'll check back in a little while if we manage to get some bites. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that bait's out there now. We've got the rod tip really high up this, um, at the moment because um, again, like I say, because of such low water, there's a huge long kelp bed out in front of us. So I've got that rod up, rod up really high to try and keep the line out of the water for as long as possible. Um, it does mean that it's getting blown a little bit by the wind, but because we're on braid, um, it's not too bad. Like you can get quite a lot of, um, get, get away with quite a lot with the braid on. Um, so the only difficulty is if we do manage to ha hook a fish out there um, we have got to drag it back through the kelp bed which is going to be a bit tricky so uh, if we do get one on then hopefully we don't get snagged. Um, but I'm just going to keep an eye on that rod tip um, and yeah you don't have to sit here for hours you can wait till the good bit and hopefully we'll bring a fish in shortly. Well the tide's just started to turn now so um, I'm going to try and get this bait in. I fully expect I'm going to get snagged in this kelp bed but uh, we're going to try and get it in, get a fresh bait out and uh, get ready for the turn of the tide because I'm hoping that this will be when the fish will start to come in a little bit. The first couple of hours in this particular mark do fish quite well on the uh, start of the flood. So yeah, let's get this one in now and see if we can uh, get a fresh bait out there. Keep that rod tip as high as I can to try and get over this kelp bed. <laughs> oh, there we go. No. Oh, made it. We got it through. What's that bait looking like? Pretty untouched so far, but hopefully we'll get some more luck in a minute. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's the baits we're fishing. Um, let's put this other light on for you. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so yeah, we've got some uh, mackerel and then a bit of squid, and then we've just strapped some uh, worm onto the back of there, and we're fishing normal pulley panel with a 5.0 uh, on the bottom, and then we're fishing also a 5.0 circle on the top. So the, the hook point for the top's just coming out of there, which uh, you can't quite, right. you can just see it on the top there. So yeah, two nice proud hook points on that. So let's chuck it out and see if we can get one. Now the tide's starting to turn. There we go, so uh, again, nice high rod tip just to uh, turn that off, sorry. Yeah, just to try and keep it over that kelp for a bit. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can get something on these worms. As I say, we've had quite a few catch reports coming up here recently of uh, people catching on either um, uh, blow lug or black lug. So yeah, hopefully that brings a few fish in. But uh, yeah, I hope you can probably hear the water now. It's uh, We've got just a little ledge out in front of us here and the water's just starting to hit that ledge so probably be here for about another half an hour and then this particular mark we're on it's got a nice sort of rock ledge all the way back to the shore so i can just keep working back all the way with the flood which is quite nice it means you can stay in one spot for a good period of time so yeah let's see what this one brings 
Well, that bite, sorry, that bite kind of caught me out of uh, nowhere, but we've got our first little codling on the shore. Um, taken on the top hook on the circle, so nicely hooked in the, in the bottom of the lip there. So there we go, first, first fish. So uh, we'll get him back in the water nice and quickly and we'll get another fresh bait out there. Well, uh, yeah, as I say, that bite kind of caught me out of nowhere. So sorry I didn't get the camera on in time. Um, as you can hear, the waves are getting quite big now. So I've moved back, hence why the camera's moved, but I'm actually gonna just move again. So we've just put that new bait out there. I'm gonna move back another 10 feet and uh, yeah, we'll leave this one out there and hopefully that might be the start of the fish coming on the feed, fingers crossed. Well, we've just uh, freshed up another bait and put that back out there, but the uh, tide's flooding so fast now. So literally like every five or 10 minutes, I'm having to move further back. I don't wanna to move too far back in one go because it means it's even further to get out to where I know the fish are. Um, but yeah, well, um, yeah, just keep keep moving back probably give it another hour or so got a few more worms left so we'll we'll use all of those up and then we'll head back home so hopefully fingers crossed we'll get one more um getting a little knock on there now so might just pick that rod up and uh see if it, see if there's anything on the end of it well uh that one didn't actually uh, develop into anything it was just a small little knock but it didn't come back um we've had a couple of other just little knocks but again nothing's connecting so probably just small fish uh, I've got 5 hooks on, so they're fairly decent size. So I think what we're going to do is going to give this two more minutes and then I'm actually going to probably go and fish on the way home, probably just drive another few minutes up the road and just use the last few worms up um, on, off one of the piers. Just give it a few casts there and uh, see if we can get anything on the last little bit of the flood. So it's still good to get a uh, fish. I was, um, wasn't it really expecting too much tonight with the way the conditions were. So yeah, it's nice to uh, get a fish and save the plank. So it'd be nice if we can get one more and it'd be even better if we can get a decent sized one for the table. But um, yeah, we'll just see if there's anything else about for the last hour or so. So yeah, let's give this one two more minutes and then we'll pack up and uh, get back in the car and uh, head a few more minutes up the road. Well, there we go. We're set up um, on the pier now. So we've probably got uh, this bait and then one more bait worth of worms left. So probably going to give this maybe 15 minute soak and then I'm going to move about 100 yards further down towards the beginning of the pier follow the water in a bit and then we'll chuck that last bait out so see if we can get anything here it's really weird moving to the pier after being out on the rocks because uh, you get so used to how sort of rough the water is as it's coming over the rocks and everything and then you come to the pier and it's like dead quiet um, or at least on a like you know not a big swell if it was a big swell then there'd be you know a good good movement over here on the pier but um yeah it's just nice and peaceful and quiet here i've got so used to the crashing of the waves and stuff so i hope hope those last few clips were okay and that you could hear everything because it was pretty noisy over there but yeah as i say much quieter over here so yeah we'll see if we can pick up another fish um so yeah two more baits let's see what happens well uh, unfortunately that 10 pound fish i was going to catch on the last cast we'll have to wait for another day i've uh, just had the call that we've got two uh, little toddlers at home which have decided that uh, half past midnight is a good time to have a party so gonna pack up and head home and uh, help with the kids at, uh, at home and get them back down to sleep but a good session at least we've got one fish uh, nice to be out again like I say lovely evening to be out and uh, yeah didn't really expect much tonight so good to have another fish although it'd be a bit small nice if it was a bit bigger but yeah still got a few uh, probably about another sort of five or six weeks of the cod season so hopefully we can get out another couple of times and um, yeah see if we can get another another few fish on the on the shore so uh, yeah thanks for watching and thanks for coming along and having a look at the video I uh, hope you liked it um, we've got episode one and two if you want to have a look back at those one so this will be number three um, and yeah as always if you can give us a like and thumbs up and subscribe to the channel that would really help and help us help it grow um, and we'll be back with another video uh, whenever we can get back out again all right well that's it bye for now and we'll see you soon